I hope you guys enjoyed that message from Potter. He was extremely excited to get that off his chest and to be able to open up and tell you guys all about his amazing love for, oh, me. Well, I do love him too, so it works out well. I don't know if you guys also have anything that you really, really want to talk about, like someone that you really, really love or appreciate or um, are really in admiration of or uh, just really want to talk about because you just love them so much, kind of like Potter did for me. But in our gospel story today, in our reading today, we read that Zachariah also feels the same way. And Zachariah actually for a while was mute. He couldn't talk. God had come upon him and had given him no voice whatsoever. So it's kind of like Potter, right? Potter can't tell me anything. But Zechariah had a lot to say when it came to naming John the Baptist and to proclaim the good news of Jesus coming, the Most High, the Savior and Redeemer. When they were picking out names for their son John, his wife said, no, nope, we're not going to name him Zachariah after you. We're going to name him John. And Zachariah wrote down, yes, his name is John. And then the Holy Spirit, as we read, came upon him and opened his mouth and let him sing these joyous, joyous things that Jesus is coming and he's the most high and he's going to redeem us and save us and love us. And Zachariah just couldn't keep it in any longer. And so the Holy Spirit had not only filled him up, but let him throw it out into the world and sing it and proclaim it. And I hope that you, this Sunday and the rest of Christmas and December and into January and for the rest of the year, can be able to be like Zachariah and not keep it bottled up anymore and keep it inside that I love. Jesus, ooh. But you can proclaim it to the world and you can say, I love Jesus. And you can sing about it and you can dance about it and you can praise about it and you can do it with other people and you can just say, Jesus loves you and so do I. So go out, be proclaimers, be joyful and prepare for this amazing gift that we're gonna have in a week or two. Go be messengers of God.